All right, guys, so this tournament picks up on the second hole. The first hole I hit my drive in the fairway, second shot, long right of the green, and did not get up and down after a pretty good flop shot and made bogey. So this round, you're not going to see all the shots, but I got quite a few. I wanted to make sure to keep up pace and keep everything moving. I actually hit that third shot really well, but I just hit it long, 20 feet past the hole, had a tough downhill putt and ended up two putting So this next par five, I actually hit my drive out to the right. My second shot, I toe hooked a hybrid left directly behind a tree, had to punch out, and now you're about to see the fourth shot. Hit it about 12 feet under the hole and missed the par putt, made another bogey there. Good. Good shot. As you can see, I wasn't very happy with that second shot, and I kind of played it a little too safe and played it right, and there was a bunker over there. I hit the bunker shot to about 15 feet and two-putted for bogey. Now that ninth hole, I hit the tee shot a few grooves low. It basically rolled over the green 10 to 15 yards past the pin, and I had a tough little pitch shot down the fairway and up to the green, and I actually hit my little five hybrid chip shot, and it trickled on the green perfectly and hit it to maybe three or four inches from the hole. So that 10th hole, I was just basically hitting a five hybrid and trying to draw it into the pin. And I just overdrew it a little bit and hit a pretty good shot from 175. 20, 25 feet left of the hole. At this point, I know after shooting 40 on the front, I'm gonna have to shoot even par or better 
to have a chance to win this tournament. Okay, so the 12th hole, I'll just tell you what happened there. That was a 440-yard par 4, and a real tough hole. Very important to hit a good tee shot. Well, I didn't. I hit my tee shot left, and you can see the tree kind of overhanging. Well, I hit a hybrid. I think I clipped one of the trees up there, came down about 50 yards short of the green, and luckily enough, I hit a really good pitch shot from there to about 5 feet and made the putt to save par. Yo, Aqua Woman, I'm in the garage working on the game, and I'm starting to think that I can really become a scratch golfer again. <laughs> well, listen, you don't have to be rude. I'm wondering, is a scratch golfer too good to play recycled golf ball? Well, listen, I'm obviously not going to get a straight answer out of you. <laughs> what in the world is going on? As you can see, guys, it's very difficult to get a serious answer out of Aqua Woman. Got it. But if you're serious about your golf game or not so serious, save some money at Golf Ball Planet, the number one supplier of used golf balls since 1997. And you can also save 18% by using my code MSH18. I also put a link in the description. Good. Oh, it just stops. Great try. Just stop turning. Better mark that. The 14th hole was a 346-yard par four. I kind of blocked myself out off the tee left. Hit a low shot that kind of trickled over the back of the green and had to kind of flop it back to the pin. Hit a pretty good shot there to eight feet and made par there. And then on the par five, I had 150 yards hitting my third shot. Hit that to about 12 feet and two putted for par there. So this 16th hole here, we have a par three, 152 yards into the wind. And I hit a six hybrid just trying to throw it right up into the wind and have it come right down. And I kind of blocked it a little bit out just a tad right, so I kind of caught short of the green there. Okay guys, so I didn't film the 18th hole. I was three over and my goal was to shoot even par or better on the back nine. I kind of thought that putt on 17 was going to fall. So again, we're one under on the back going to 18, another par five, and I hit a pretty good drive, kind of right side of the fairway. In hindsight, I would have played my layup shot out to the right because the green opens up over there, but instead I was aiming pretty much at the center at the 150 yard stake with the four hybrid. 
and hit another dreaded tow hook into some trees that shouldn't even be in play. I had to punch out sideways from 80 yards. I hit it maybe about 15 feet from the hole and missed that putt and made bogey on the last hole. Ended up in a four-way tie at four over for first. One of the guys left, so there was a three-way sudden death playoff. And the first gentleman made bogey on the first hole. I actually had uh, just a, a weird distance with my second shot, and I hit it long right, which in hindsight, I should have just hit it short in front of the green. I think the front of the green and short of the green is a much better miss if you're struggling with your distance control or struggling with your game in general. Instead, I kind of attack that pin, I go long right, and I have the most difficult flop shot you could ever imagine. And I hit it absolutely perfectly. And I had about 15 feet coming back up the hill, made the 15 footer. So the other gentleman in the playoff had about four footer to save his par. He knocked it in. So we move on to the next playoff hole. I hit a drive pretty much the same place I hit it earlier in the day, short of that right bunker, laid up pretty much in the same place, had 100 yards, and again, hit 50 degree wedge, 30 feet past the hole. So I had a tough two putt for par because it's a slope there. However, my two putt really didn't matter because the gentleman I played against, John, he had 235 to the pin. And he hit three wood five feet from the hole. So he had a five footer for eagle. We ended up second place, but I have to take the good with the bad. I didn't really strike the ball very well, but I was able to hang on and, and at least shoot an even par on that back nine. So I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. And just let me know what videos you want to see down in the comments section. And I'll be sure to bring you more of what you like if you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe until next time mr short hitter out